the first thing we need is some decent io7 screenshot in a decent size and quality i already have one in my clipboard so i will jump right into the microsoft board paste it you know zoom out a little maybe make this center aligned and i will probably jump to the next page and paste this image again that way i will work on this second page drawing icons and when i'm ready with the icons i will move them to the first page so i will see which icons are done and which are not yet done so for this reason i will probably change this picture to grayscale and i will be working on the second page so let's just zoom in and start with the basic shape so select any icon which you want it doesn't matter which one and draw a new rounded rectangle shape draw it with the shift key pressed and maybe you know increase the fill transparency a little bit so we can tweak this yellow handle to have the shape very same as the underlying one that this is just about fine okay but we will not end with this shape because we will probably want to show our grid lines in the future so it may be a good idea to check the size which is uh, something around 24 millimeters so we'll, that we can round it to 24 millimeters you will see that the size hasn't changed much it's probably the very similar as it was but what we can do now is to show a grid lines and you know maybe change the spacing for grid lines to like two by two millimeters and if we do so you can see that if we zoom in we have perfectly aligned grid lines so for example if you will want to draw a new line from one side to another you can just do it this way and it will be perfectly aligned with the icon. It will save us a lot of, lot of trouble and time in the future.